I don't know that I consider myself the target demographic for Minions, The Rise of Gru, but I enjoyed this movie. I, I enjoyed this movie. Um, and I like a movie that is not made for kids, but is made for everyone. And I feel like this film is like that. And by the way, I only saw the first uh, movie, which was, uh, you know, uh, Despicable Me. I saw the first movie. I, I didn't see the other ones, and I've just now seen this one. So I, I feel like I'm caught up. And this is the lead character from Despicable Me as a kid wanting to join this sort of league of villains and and sort of the journey to kind of – it's sort of him as a kid wanting to become – a villain, Alan, fill us in on Minions, The Rise of yeah. Gru. I assume you saw it with your daughter. Yes, I did see it with my daughter. And and I will say uh, I did have fun, but quite frankly, if I didn't have a child, I would never have seen any of these movies. Um, <laughs> it is, I mean, that's that's the target audience here. Um, so I was literally forced to see these movies. And, and even throughout every single one of these, you know, I didn't feel like I was bored. There were times I was getting there. But, uh, you know, this is definitely a kid's movie. And if you have kids, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. But what one thing that really reminded me of what, what, rem, what brought back memories to me was my old days of sitting home watching the old Bugs Bunny cartoons and, and Three Stooges. You know, this idea of just the slapstick fun. Um, you know, the, this is kind of the return of that style of comedy where it's uh, children's movies where, you know, uh, instead of the, the duck season, rabbit season, the shotgun with Elmer Fudd and Daffy Duck, and you know we've got laser guns here, kind of over the top weapons, and people are getting shot. Um, there's there's moments of drag, you know the the Bugs Bunny type drag, um, you know, and so this is the fun, you know that that I kind of miss, uh, that I felt like we can't do anymore in children's movies, and for some reason the Minions are able to do that. And so to me, it was just kind of harkening back to that and, and just feeling like, yeah, I'm, I'm just having fun here. And uh, plot wise, story wise, you know, th it's just a convenient way to go from one slapstick gag to the next. And, and so it's for children. And, uh, you know, if you have to drag your, if your kid drags you to see this movie, you know, you, I think you'll find yourself having a good time. Are you, uh, you're muted. I will say it's 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 for children and also kids at heart. But I will say, mm -hmm. like, I love when it comes to cartoons. When I was a kid, I didn't like Disney cartoons. I did not like Disney cartoons. I didn't like Mickey Mouse. I didn't like Goofy. I didn't like Donald Duck. I th found them to be just too milk toast and mm -hmm. too wholesome and kind of boring to me. I grew up on Three Stooges and Looney Tunes. Bugs yeah. Bunny, who is an irritant, Foghorn Leghorn. Uh, you know, even your Tex Avery stuff. I love those classic Looney Tunes that are incredibly violent or, you know, the Roadrunner and the Coyote. I love yeah. that stuff. And this Minions kind of harkens back to the old school, like, you know, those kinds of cartoons where like there are parts of this that are very violent and over the top, but it's done in like this cartoony way where it's just like, this is the cartoon world. Logic is different here. Things function differently. And I, I, I found myself enjoying it. I was surprised because, frankly, I was not looking forward to seeing this <laughs> at all. Like, I was just, like, oh, sort of dreading it. Like, I saw the first movie, Despicable Me. That was kind of neat. It's um, – and this was I, – I got sucked in. I, you know, I mm -hmm. enjoyed the film. And there's not much more to say about that other than it was a – it was a fun ride. And, and, you know, if you, if you're like me and you've got the, like, this is where I kind of feel like it's sort of low cost on my end is like, I have the AMC a list, which is like uh -huh. 25 bucks It's 25 bucks in California. I think it's cheaper in other parts of the country. And you just pay the one price and you can see three movies a week. And I'm like, Oh, that was fun. Cause I love going to the movies. Um, you know, heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? The Nicole Kidman, that little, you know, that everybody cheers and claps and laughs when that comes on. Heartbreak feels good in a place like this. But if you've got the A-list, you know, go and check it out. I, th I thought it was fun and I was surprised how much I enjoyed it. Let's go to your comments in the chat here before we move on to our next review. Uh, 
Michael Seeger says Daffy would get slapped and his bill would wind up on the other side of his head. Yeah, they were incredibly violent. Yeah. And, and oh, no, Daffy Duck got his face shot, you know, with a shotgun, and then the bill moved up. And Yeah, so, so it was more than a slap. It was a, it was a shotgun. The duck season, rabbit season thing. <laughs> I love duck season, rabbit season. I love that. Yeah. Uh, Red Terror 1978 says Looney Tunes was much better. Yeah. I'll picture a little Ryan Cannell there. There you go. Internet Rec Room says Bugs Bunny greater than Mickey Mouse. Agreed. I mean, I mm -hmm. can't, when I think of like great cartoons, I don't think of like, oh my God, remember that moment in the Mickey Mouse cartoon where he's running the boat, Steamboat Willie? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think about when I think of great moments in cartoons, I can't think of ones from Disney films. Um, but I can think of ones from so many countless, like, you know, whether it's a Roadrunner, you know, Wiley e. Coyote, Acme. I, I love the stuff with Acme. Mm -hmm. And I love that they're, and, and the thing is, is like Minions leans into that. Minions leans into that type of cartoon where the stakes are high and, and it's, it's violent and it, it's fun. It was fun. Uh, Matthew A. Kobo, MCU Minion Cinematic Universe. <laughs> there is one. I mean, they're definitely yeah. building it. Yeah, Brock Samson, Universal is eating Disney's lunch, both in park revenue as well as the box mm -hmm. office. Yeah, you're right. I'm actually thinking, I'm thinking of going to Universal. Thinking of going to Universal. Uh, I have not been to a theme park since the before times, with the exception of Knott's. Uh, so there you go. Buck 99 from Sean Zemir. Minions, another factory film, in your opinion? Um, is it a factory film? I mean, yeah, but I mean, it could, it could be considered that like just sort of churning it out, but I don't know. I had a good time. I, what I really love is the design. We haven't talked about like the character design of the villains. Each of them has like sort of a different, like each of them alone could be their own bond villain. You've got the guy who has like the lobster arm and the girl who's sort of like your sort of black exploitation uh, character from the seventies. Like, I really liked all the villains. They were very distinct. Yeah. My favorite was uh, Nunchucks. <laughs> yeah, Nunchucks. A woman who's a nun who fights with Nunchucks. These are the villains. It's like this league of villains. Um, and and uh, Gru is trying to join the villains. He wants to be a part of their organization as a kid. He's like 11 years old or something. Solomon Thornton says, I know one thing, Minions, is going to blow Lightyear out of the water. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Yes. Uh, and oh, uh, Nobody asked this. There's nothing woke about it. Is there? Mm. Did you notice, Alan? Well, I mean, just the fact that there's so much violence in it toward toward each of the characters that, you know, that that violates wokeness automatically. The use of weapons, uh, you know, this idea of the Second Amendment and uh, the ability to ha arm yourself with laser weapons. Yeah, you know, it's that's just, not woke at all. Yeah, it's um, yeah, I had more fun watching this than Lightyear for yeah. sure. Sean Zemir says, you guys are the best when it comes to breaking movies down and being unbiased and not settling. Well, thank you for that. I try to give our thank honest you. opinions here. Um, Adventure Industries, is this a good movie to bring my two moms? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring your bring your two moms to see Minions. For sure. Yeah, because apparently two moms are not going to see Lightyear, so. Uh, Bear Down Adam asks a serious question. Should I bring my six-year-old to see Lightyear or Minions this weekend? Alan. Minions. Minions, minions, absolutely. Hundred percent minions. He's you, just gonna sit there giggling. He or she is gonna be it, just sitting there giggling. Here's one thing that that I really like about the minions movies that is kind of under us is the way that the minions talk. They kind of have mm -hmm. like their own language, but you'll like hear a word here and there that you kind of recognize, and it's goofy mm -hmm. and it's weird, and yeah, your six year old will love minions out of the just sheer. Over yeah. the topness of it, you can't take the violence in the film seriously because it's cartoon violence, right? There's no guns, guns per se, but there's threat, right? There's the threat of something, but it's mm -hmm. done in such a cartoony way. Um, yeah, a uh, hundred percent minions. I feel like Lightyear for a six year old is just going to be they're going to get bored one because it's too long. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like what hour 45, hour 50 for Lightyear, whereas Minions is like a yeah. 90 minutes. Yeah, I mean, uh, and even if you take out the controversial part of Lightyear, Minions moves quickly. It's it's for the ADD and kids. Yeah. You know, it, it it doesn't take a break. And so there's there's constant engagement, especially for young children. And nobody asked, but I can confirm this. If you go to the bathroom, you're not going to miss anything. 
He can just come right back and it picks right up. Yeah. Like, just, oh, I'm caught up with just, what's happening. That person did. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Chud Life says the director of the movie voices all the minions. Uh, thank you for that, uh, Chud Life. Yeah, that voice is so yeah. weird and f- I don't know. I just uh, I found we, it. In- we were trying to figure out the we were trying to figure out the origins of it. I assume it's Italian, but I'm wondering if it's, there's some Spanish in there. I don't know. Yeah, it's it just it's just it's just gibberish with a few words. You understand what they're saying. Mm-hmm. Um, this, is, this is why I think it's it's yeah. And there I've heard estimates of this movie this weekend will be making, you know, 90 million over the four day weekend could um, 70 mm-hmm. million. definitely going to do better than Lightyear did in its first weekend. Yeah. Thank you for that. Chud life. Appreciate that fact. And another reminder from flaccid Phoenix to slap that like button. Did we hit 200 likes yet? I hope we did. We've got like 400 people watching. Yeah. That's great. Wow. Uh, Welcome. 